Hi, in this video I will show how to use a PML Viewer app. This is my website, I will link on this site in the description. To find app, I will click on search and type OPML. And we need a PML Viewer, which is this one. Um, I click on a page, click on download button to start downloading process and wait until file will be downloaded. OPML is... Um, XML based format, it's usually, uh, it's widely used for storing um, XML data and RSS data. You can see archive has been downloaded, I'll click on downloaded archive, then double click on MSI inside the card to start installation and click on more info. I'm getting the screen from Microsoft because I'm not registered publisher with Microsoft. You can see publisher unknown. I'll just click run anyway to start installation. Click on next, next install. Click on yes here and click on finish on final screen. And you can see I have an app on my, um, I have a shortcut on my desktop. And now I can close this and this. And double click on shortcut to uh, launch viewer. Now um, I can. Um, so I click so to select input file. I just can click on select input file, navigate to uh, my OPML file. This one I just double click on it, and you can see uh, it will display what is inside OPML file. I can also export is as Word or Excel or web page, or I export all this uh, information from OPML. OPML file into different formats and also what I can do I can associate OPML with my viewer I will show you how to do it so I will uh, right click on my OPML file and will select open with then when uh, dialog appear I will click on more apps and then I can scroll the way down and go look for another app on my PC. Then go to C program files, C program files, and go to um, no, I go to C program files x86. Then I will go to uh, White Rock software, and then I will select OPML viewer and click on. Now, and you can see it opened uh, and showing up what is inside the PML file. Now, when I double click on a PML, it will always show a PML viewer. And uh, in this way, I don't have to launch a PML viewer, then select input file and all this. So, yeah, basically, that's it. Um, I can view, I can sort, and I can export into different formats. This is how this is a PML works. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you.